Okay, welcome back. So today I've got the latest installment of the newest hotness series, which is going to be the AKV Upgraded. So the popularity of the AKV has spawned a whole aftermarket industry and the available options become dizzying when trying to grasp just everything that's available out there. I spent some time going through them and have in the past and I just couldn't find a way to condense it down by category without the video being an hour long. So I'm just going to go through one configuration here that I think represents the best options available currently or some of the best. As time goes on, I'll probably follow this up with a few more videos presenting other complete options. So let's dive into the newest hotness. Starting at the rear end, the Warrior CNC brace replaces the SBA3 or Folding PSA AKV Triangle brace. So CNC Warrior and bone, bone Steel Arms came up with the Warrior brace. It's machined from aircraft aluminum, so the tubular part of the brace is uh, rigid and the hinge is designed to lock up solid. It comes with a hardened steel bushing around the hinge pin and chrome plated stainless steel spring with ground end. So basically in a nutshell what all this means is that it's precision machined, it's made incredibly well and it's built to last. Um, users report it does match your rear trunnion it can be set up to fold either left or right, so it is a folding brace as well. It comes standard, uh, set up for slings with a QD sling swivel pocket. And the brace, all in all, retails for $169.99. So summed up, this brace mates the best features of a top of the line metal folding stock, which we all love because they're rigid and provide a solid firing platform. Um, but it also combines this with a nylon strap and rubber end to make it a brace, which is able to accommodate for disabled firearms enthusiasts. Uh, users' feedback on this is that it does significantly improve their shooting experience over the AKV Triangle Brace, which does allow quite a bit of flex when shooting. Don't get me wrong, I love my Triangle Brace, which is on my AKP but it is not the most solid shooting uh, platform uh, point of contact. So uh, finally, the latest info on these Warrior Braces is that they're five to six weeks out on shipping. So the sooner you get your order in, the better. All right, so next up, moving on up the AKV, my favorite component of any build, the trigger. So PSA, although it's not widely known, has an ever-deepening history with the competition world and a number of their um, higher-up shoot competitions. Um, this trigger reflects it. So I am talking about the ALG trigger for the AKV. And if I had to guess, I would bet that PSA is not too far off from being known for making some of the best triggers out there as well. Um, users report, I haven't gotten to shoot one yet, but users report the ALG trigger breaks at three and a half pounds consistently and two and a half pounds on reset. Um, I do have a friend here in Alaska that owns three AKVs. He has one in transit or one of them he just got and the other two that he's had, he put ALG triggers in both of them and he absolutely loves them. So the trigger is made from triple alloy steel, finish is corrosion resistant manganese phosphate. Um, it's retailing for $69.99. It is a steal at that price and a must have upgrade for the newest hotness AKV. Uh, moving up to the fore end on the AKV. So I have to thank a viewer for recommending this. Um, I was not familiar with uh, SLR Rifle Works AKV 4N. Um, I was familiar with them for their AK and AR uh, 4Ns, but did not know they made one for the AKV. So um, this is an upgrade to the standard wood furniture 4N, the wood cheese grater combo, and the Magpul options that come from PSA when you do buy an AKV. The SLR AK Ion 7.5 inch light M Lock A for AKV or AKP flushes up perfectly to the front sight block on your AKV. It's made out of 7075 billet aluminum, comes standard with four QD sockets for your sling mounting. 
attachment points. Um, the M lock is on the sides and the bottom and it has a clearance slot as well for the sling loop. So gas tube options are available when you, when you make your order. This retails for $188.99 and is a phenomenal upgrade to any AKV or AKP. Uh, I keep saying AKP, for those who don't know, the AKP is uh, Palmetto State Armory 7.62 by 39 AK pistol. I have one and I absolutely love it. So moving on to magazines, uh, the AKV is compatible, was built with compatibility in mind with CZ Scorpion magazines. And Magpul additionally makes uh, magazines that work in the Scorpion, which also work in the AKV. What's become clear over time is that users are overwhelmingly choosing the Palmetto State Armory magazines for their AKVs. Uh, these are 35 round magazines and they come in at a price point of $15.99. So they are an amazing bargain. Uh, this is combined with widespread reliability reports. They have built-in steel feed lips for longevity and the, the value proposition with a PSA magazine means that the other manufacturer offerings just aren't as appealing. So Palmetto State Armory is selling these magazines like hotcakes and they come standard in a wide variety of cool colors such as plum, flat dark earth, smoke, black, gray, olive drab green, clear, and of course my favorite and everyone's favorite, the Chiquita Banana Mag. <laughs> so you, you just gotta do a double take every time you see one of those on social media or, or in a video, they're just so cool. And additionally to this, uh, which uh, some people don't know, PSA also offers a 15 round plus mag extension for these PSA 35 round mags um, for $19.95, which brings the capacity to 50 plus one nine millimeter rounds of fun. Now for competitions, for just fun, uh, for home defense, it's it's awesome. The, the word is that these are really reliable. So you basically got 50 plus one, 51 rounds on tap uh, in your AKV. So wrapping up, sky's the limit on muzzle devices. I kind of went back and forth on the muzzle device portion of this and I really couldn't figure out a way to get through this. Some of the things are standard. Um, we all know that people want to put on flash hiders, muzzle brakes, suppressors, but they're also individualized to personal preference and application that I really couldn't come up with one that was the newest hotness. Um, the AKV comes standard with a two port tanker style muzzle brake on a half by 28 inch thread. Most users report that they love the muzzle brake, that it does tamp down what little uh, muzzle rise there is, uh, being, you know, a fairly uh, heavy platform for a nine millimeter already. Um, but what I'd like you to do is let me know in the comments below what your recommendations are for a muzzle dev device based on the application you run it for. So don't just put what you like and what you're running, but let me know what application you had in mind for it as well. And hopefully my next installment of the newest hotness part two with the AKV platform, I can include one or two of those. So that in a nutshell is my take on the newest hotness, an upgraded AKV that remains so popular that in stock form it sells out within a few minutes every time PSA lists it on their website in every single configuration they make it in. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please take the time to share, to like, um, especially it'd be nice if you'd share this in your firearms groups and forums that you're a part of. That would really help me out. And as always, comment and subscribe. I appreciate you joining me on the journey and as always I'm really looking forward to learning from your accumulated AKV knowledge in the comments below. Hope you found this useful and entertaining. LW Road, out.